7, Drew Caravan, number 8, Ben Fillingham, number 9, Tyree Clark, number 10, Justin Richards, and number 11, Mark Wright. Uh, Sons of the Glass World today, number 12, Dan Scott, number 14, Matt Dodd, 15, Tom Tox, 16, Chris Lake, and Sons of goalkeeper, Charlie Wright. And a reminder, folks, obviously, should the game end after the draw at 90 minutes, there will be a replay on Tuesday night back at the Brewery Field in Spengong. Uh, there is a Glass Boys coach going to that game, should one be needed. Uh, we we'll leave here at 1.30 p.m. And also, uh, another shout out to the Glass Girls. They are present this afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, spending more time here with Anne Smith, and it was a bit disappointing in the end, wasn't it? Bewildered, to be honest. Uh, two one up, I thought we controlled the game. I thought we should have been out of sight, to be honest, on chances, especially first off. Uh, there was only one team in the game, and we will make silly mistakes. We don't manage the game properly, and we give them opportunity to get back in it for a cheap free kick. And we had a silly ten minutes where I turned the game on, on its backside. Uh, so frustrating, as I say, we've had enough chances to win three games, and for the most part of the game, I thought we were the best team. But hey, football. <laughs> um, do you think uh, Scott Kerr's injury changed the game at all? I do, but like we just said in the dressing room, there one player coming off shouldn't have the effect it has had. You know, uh, you two one up as I say, and you're dominating. Good possession, quite comfortable within the game itself. Didn't really see any danger. In the key moments, like we keep saying it, to, to players in there, and we've just had a little pop at them there about you know giving chief free kicks away around the box. We see it week in, week out. You now the penny's got to drop at some point, and what do we do? With, in a good period for us, we give a chief free kick away, and they've capitalised on it, which was something we were aware that they were good at. Uh, so that disappoints us, and then you follow on from there, and there's a, you know there's a, a hurried clearance, which is re resulting in them getting the ball back too easy, and in pops the third, and then you're chasing the game. Uh, but getting back to the point with Scott, he is a big player for us. But I'd like to think we've got enough about us to, once one player comes off in, in him, we don't just collapse. Any positives to take from the game today? He is in a, in a general sense, but we've stood here all too often saying we've dominated the game and we haven't got what we wanted out of it. And we've got to be a bit more ruthless, we've got to be show a bit more character when the old backs are against the wall. And we have got to start game managing it better than what we are and making better decisions when we put ourselves in good positions. So it's a frustrating day. 
in all, I think we're the better team. As daft as that sounds, we're coming away 4-2, but you know, you give them credit because they've took the chances. I think you always sometimes say that better team don't always win. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, but it shows you that, you know, they make no mistake, I mean, they're flying. And you can see why their, their striker's got off chances and next thing you know, you know you're chasing the game. So you've got to give them credit for, for digging in there and, and grinding the result out, which is what they've done. But I think looking back at it on the whole, you know, our performance wasn't that bad bar 10 minutes. OK, brilliant, and thanks so much. I'll let you go and have something to eat. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for doing